Yo, 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 what is good? Welcome back to Vampire Survivors. It's your boy, Bert. And today, we are unlocking some motherfucking secrets. First things first, we are investigating the bottom of Gaio Tower. And because we unlocked this guy last time, we're going to play as him. Because why the fuck not? Gallo Tower. Oh, we already had it selected. We're going to turn off inverse. And we're going to cruise. All right. What are we going to start with? Ooh, fancy. Cool. This guy has a new weapon I've never played with before. Ooh. Oh, hello. That's cool. Okay. We got magnet. All right. Then we're going to turn on Santa water. Oh, we got lots of rolls with this guy, too. Damn. <laughs> we'll take a garlic. Fuck yeah, we'll take a garlic. Flames of Misspell. That's such a sick name. The Flames of Misspell. <laughs> Sounds like you're getting fucking sent to hell for getting a question wrong on your spelling test. <laughs> fucking, you know what I really like doing in like grade one was fucking spelling tests. I loved spelling tests as a kid. I, my mom, okay, so a little background. My mom owned the liquor store in my hometown. When I was a kid, she was working there, and then eventually she bought it after the owner passed away. Um, but she was working there, and they they were a florist and a liquor store. So my mom went to like college for for working with flowers and shit. And um, let me cross. And so that's what she did. Oh, I'm gonna get a Bible too. Because I believe those on the map here. Um, and so at this, it was like a kind of the only gift shop in town. So they sold Beanie Babies there. And if you're not a child of the 90s, as I, Beanie Babies are, uh, you know, Squishmallows. Squishmallows are trending right now. They're just, the company that makes Squishmallows, Ty, made these smaller, just stuffed bears and called them Beanie Babies. Um, and they were like all the rage. They were supposed to be like, if you collect them, you'd be the next millionaire eventually because you got the rarest Beanie Baby or whatever. So in my grade one year, my mom told me that every time I got 100% on the spelling test, she would get me a Beanie Baby because I assume she got them for free because she works in the store. I don't, I don't really know. Anyways, so I took that to heart. I fucking wanted as many Beanie Babies as I could get. So in my grade one year, there was only one spelling test, and I still remember this vividly. I barely remember any of my childhood, but I remember this moment very vividly. Um, there was only one spelling test that I didn't get 100% on, and it was the fucking teacher's fault. I still maintain to this day. So on our spelling tests, if it was your you, the week of your birthday, you got a special spelling test where the instead of just like a normal white piece of paper, it was like it had like school buses on it or something like some fancy pattern. And one of the words, and it was my turn, it was my fancy spelling test week, and I was fucking excited because I haven't had my spell my fancy spelling test yet, and I got all of the words spelled right. But I missed an I, so I snuck it in between the two letters. I put the I there, but the teacher fucking marked it wrong. And I'm like, bitch, I spelled it right. I put the I there, and she was like, I didn't say bitch. Obviously, I was in grade one. Um, and her excuse was, oh, you should have crossed out the whole fucking word. And she didn't say fuck. Just imagine if this is the way a grade one student and teacher talk to each other. <clears throat> she was like, you should have crossed out the word and rewrote it next to it. But I was in grade one. I never even considered that as an option. 
because I was fucking like seven years old or how old you are in, kid in grade one. And like, that's not how those, that age of person thinks. They just think, yeah, just sneak in there, it's fine. And also, there wasn't enough room because it was a special spelling test sheet and it wasn't one of the normal spelling test sheets. I'm still salty about that today, and that was grade one. I got cheated out of the only Beanie Baby, and I tried to tell my mom this whole spiel, but she's like, nope, you didn't get on. The mark isn't 100, so it doesn't count. And to this day, I still feel cheated out of that Beanie Baby. But now they're all sitting in little plastic cases in my mom's basement. Tag's still attached. Little plastic case is still on. Mm. And if there's ever one that, that's worth a million dollars, then then we can all thank my um, obsession with spelling tests as a child. And now I can spell things like all right. So I guess it kind of worked out, didn't it? Except now that's not really a useful skill because everywhere has spell check. And if you don't know how to go, you can just like use your voice to Google it and then it'll tell you how it's spelled. So it's just kind of like it's, it's, it's a moot point now, but it's like being really good at mental math when everyone ha like they told you you're not going to have a calculator in your pocket when you grow up. And that was that was the biggest lie ever told. That in the lie of like people like, oh, why don't they teach you how to do taxes in school? You know what they taught us how to do in school? Our taxes. You know what fucking assignments no one ever did in school? The taxes assignments. No one fucking did them. That's why you didn't learn. You just didn't pay a fucking attention. Now TurboTax exists. It makes billions of dollars every year because people don't know how to do their taxes. When the government already knows how much you owe them, why not just send a bill? And you know what? If you don't owe them, just send a check. They send checks to you all the time. Just send the yearly check. You know how much I made. You know how much I owe you. Well, I don't see why I should have to declare it. You know exactly how much. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Bert, what about people who make money on tips? You know what I say? Don't tax people who fucking need to depend on tips to live. If you're a stripper or a server or a fucking taxi driver and you live off those tips, don't tax those. Those people need that money. They're clearly not being paid enough by the mega corporation that employs them, unless they're a stripper, then it's normally not a mega corporation that employs them, but it's a whole different conversation. They're clearly not being paid enough by the people who are making money hand over fist off of their work. So just fucking let them have the little bits that they can get. Like, what's the point? Like, they're gonna lie anyways. So what's the point in fucking taxing them all much. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I hate bureaucracy, but that that's never made sense to me. I'm not saying I hate paying taxes or anything, because, like, I don't mind paying taxes. Honestly, I feel like, like, the complaint of paying taxes is like, I like my kids having schools to go, go to. I like having roads to drive on. I like my free hospitals. I like the fact that I didn't have to pay for my children to get born, you know? I like the fact that when I was a kid and I ripped my hand open, I was able to get free stitches. I didn't even have my parents have to show up or anything. I just got stitches and I got to leave and they didn't expect anyone to pay for it. I like that shit. So I don't mind paying taxes. I'm just like, make it easier. Make it accessible. If you want people to pay taxes, make it easier. And then people will be more willing to pay taxes. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a fucking... Just a... Liberal tree-hugging hippie, but... What do I know? What the fuck do I know? I still... I'm still not sure if I'm a millennial or not. <laughs> no one knows.
comfortable be like, you're a zillennial. And I'm like, that's dumb. But maybe that's what makes me a zillennial, you know? I just think the idea of being a zillennial is dumb. Whoa, 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 hey, whoa, 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 hey, whoa. Whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa. You know what's going on in the sporting world right now, other than the NHL season, uh, is the World Cup. Uh, and you know what's interesting about the World Cup is nothing, because it's soccer, and soccer is the most boring sport in the entire world. And people are like, no, you only think that because you're Canadian and and your country plays a, an infinitely better sport called hockey and lacrosse and curling. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. That is why I think that um, soccer is literally a bunch of people passing a ball to each other for an hour and a half. Soccer isn't a real sport because it can end in a tie. That's my official, and yeah, hockey used to end in ties, and you know what they did about it? They stopped that from happening. Did they do a good job of it? No. But I'd much rather a game not end 0-0 zero, zero than literally, like, I'd literally, like, who wants to pay $150 for a ticket in the stands? You pay, like, 50 bucks for, like, 10 cups, 5 cups of beer, probably. Not even, probably four cups of beer for 50 bucks nowadays. To watch your two teams kick a ball that you can't fucking see. You can't see the ball from the stands. And you're like, Bert, again, you watch hockey. You can't see the puck from the stands. Yes, you can. Because it's black on white ice. You can't see the ball from the stands because it's like a billion different colors on green grass. And every, you can't even tell what fucking team the goalies are on half the time because they're always wearing different jerseys. What the fuck's up with that? Not to mention, half of the world calls it fucking football and then gives, like, the people who live in the UK have the gall to be like, ho ho do ho, Americans call it soccer and they call it hey, fucking hand egg football. Blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, the people in the UK are the ones who came up with the word soccer because soccer is just a shortening of association football. And they they fucking shortened it to sock football and then they shortened it down to soccer because that's what people from the UK do. They just shorten words and put er at the end of them, just like they did with rubber. Rubber used to be called something different and then they started putting it on the end of fucking pencils and in little things to erase marks with and you know what that's called rubbing and they started calling them rubbers and that's where the word rubber came from fucking british people think they're so high and mighty with their with their oh, oh words but they, they came up with these dumb nicknames spread them in north america and then somehow gaslit the entire fucking world into believing oh no americans and canadians came up with the word soccer and they're just dumb for calling it that no, man, that wasn't us. We took it from you. You told us it was called soccer. We started calling it soccer. And then 50 years later, you're like, oh, you call it soccer, you're dumb. Like, what a, what a weird hill to die on. It's almost as weird as hating soccer as much as I do. Oh, man, I don't know if I'm going to live through this. Am I at the bottom yet? Like, what the fuck is going on? I feel like the game's getting darker, but it could just be my eyes playing tricks on me. Oh, jeez. But also, last time the game went full screen on me and I didn't notice, so... Maybe I'm just paying more attention to the visual shit. Who knows? Also, how did I pick up this guy, but not the other guy that I passed? I didn't pick either of the things. But I picked up this guy, not the other guy. This is some bullshit. Oh, there's a chest up here, though. We, we kind of want the chest. Oh, fuck. How far did I go? Never mind. We're not going back for it. Fuck it. Are we at the bottom yet? How far have we... Oh, I was just about to check how far we went. How far have we gone? We're really far. 
swear to God, if, if the bottom is at the top and I've been going down this whole time and I was meant to be going up just like the last time, I'll be pretty, pretty fucking fucked up. <laughs> if you didn't watch the last insanely long episode, I don't blame you, honestly. Um, but I ended up walking one way the entire episode and then it ended up I just had to walk the other way. Um, and that, that chat my asshole. But I, I, I tacked that on to the end of last episode, so didn't have to make that two, two whole things. Okay, this is definitely getting darker, right? Like, I'm not just making that up. It's starting to feel like I'm making it up. I'm gonna put the mouse here. Oh shit, I stepped on a fucking trap. I activated my trap card on myself. I'm pretty dumb. Victory sword! Ooh, what do I get? La bora. I know it's all uh, Italian, but um, I say it in a Spanish accent because I can't do an Italian accent. Bora. There we go. That's my Italian accent. And I even did the finger thing to make it extra racist. And you're like, Bert, you can't be racist against Italians. And I'm like, well, a hundred years ago you could. So what's stopping me now? Ain't nobody gonna tell me how to be racist. Just kidding. I'm not actually racist. Well, like, there's probably like some deep down shitty part of me that's still like microaggresses but I don't feel racist so I feel like I'm more accepting than than a lot of people but I'm not better than everyone so there's a lot going on right now actually I don't know if you've noticed what's happening on the screen but like I'm actually doing a lot of damage for some reason. Is this, did this guy just go? I'm just, I'm just trying to answer a question. The game. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just. There we go. Fucking. I'm sorry if you're live on the stream right now. I've dropped literally 70% of my frames. That's insane. I hope the recording doesn't look like that. I don't know what to do about that because I have like 110 megabytes down and five meg meg or gig meg megs gigs megs 100 whatever megs down and five megs up like it's the second best internet package I can get and it's the highest internet package I can afford. <laughs> okay, I feel like I've gone pretty far down. It's definitely getting darker. Like, that's not just me making shit up. It's definitely getting darker. Oh, shit. Okay, now it's gone completely black. Okay, so I wasn't losing that. Oh man, this is this is actually kind of creepy. The music is just completely cut out. I'm getting goosebumps. This is creepy. Is it zooming in? I think it's slowly zooming. Oh shit! That's the secret character. What the fuck is it? Oh my god, what? That is fucked up. Oh my god. Oh, that's my new sleep paralysis demon. 
Holy fuck, what the fuck? Uh, are you hearing this audio right now? This is fucking me up, seven ones a Sunday. Okay. Okay, we unlocked it. I didn't like that at all. No, no, I did not. I truly and for truly did not enjoy that one bit. Oh, I'm not killing guys as much as I was earlier. There we go. Nice. Upgrade. Mm, that's all, right? Yeah, that's all. Unless this flame somehow upgrades, but we're just gonna ram them all. Is it? Now the music is completely cut out. Now there's no music on the level, and I have to beat it because I haven't beaten this level with this character before. Is it really no music? It's really not. okay. We're gonna find some royalty free music to play behind this real quick, fast. Uh, let's we put on some royalty free music. Just so we're not sitting in complete silence with just killing sounds. Just found some random royalty free music on YouTube. Hopefully this doesn't get flagged. I feel like I'm making enough music or enough noise over it for it not to be caught, but I could be wrong. Who cares? Anyway. Oh man. So today at work, I uh, took the liberty of just starting to work on my content again. And I just fucking spent all day downloading my YouTube videos and posting them or scheduling them for my Facebook page. I just I did that for like three hours. <laughs> But the grind, the grind does not halt when you're at work. You gotta rise, you gotta grind. You gotta work for it. You gotta want it. And that's okay. I've worked hard at things before. No one thought I could be an aircraft mechanic. And look at me now, I had a fucking email for an interview to today even though I haven't been one in two years so just because no one believes in it doesn't mean it's not possible it's a lesson you gotta take it's a hard lesson to learn and it's hard to believe in yourself too I still have a hard time believing in myself even though I've done a lot of really amazing things in my life I still, day to day, struggle with self-doubt, struggle with my self-esteem, struggle with my looks, struggle with how people feel about me. Especially when I'm just posting, like, oh, that's way too far off. Posting, like, all my thoughts and feelings on the internet, pretty much. Like, it's hard for me to be genuine on the internet, but at the same time, it's kind of easy, because like no one watches, you know? So I can pretty much just dump whatever, say whatever, and because no one watches, it just kind of feels good to say, you know? And if there comes a day where people watch, well then, at that point I'm already going to be comfortable doing it, so I can create a more genuine connection, hopefully. And there's a lot to be said about parasocial and that kind of stuff, but I think there's also legit things in like sharing your life and building a community around it. And sharing your experiences with other people who are who are in like states as you. You know? I don't think it's parasocial to me to share like I'm going to therapy tomorrow. And it's my second therapy session. I did my first session and this is my first real intro to EMDR tomorrow, and I'm nervous, and I'm excited. I'm scared, and those are all okay and valid feelings to have. 
And I think as a man and as a content creator, it's important for me to set an example for any younger people or any any men like me who two years ago I wouldn't have gone and asked for help. Two years ago I was struggling in silence. I was drinking eight to ten beers every day. I was smoking so much pot every day. And I just thought that was normal. And now that I'm older and I realize like that shit's not okay. You know? It's okay to have a drink every once in a while. It's okay to smoke every once in a while. But if you're doing it every day, and it's like, as soon as you get home, it's in your hand. And before you go to bed, it's in your hand. And when you wake up, it's in your hand. That's not healthy, no matter what you're doing. If it's weed, if it's booze, if it's your phone, if it's the TV, if it's video games. No matter what you use to cope, you gotta... You gotta use it... Modesty. Modesty is key. What the fuck are we doing here? Three bounces? Freeze enemies? Explode? I don't know if anyone explodes or revives. Three bounces, because that actually affects me. I could have brought everything on the map towards me. Not even a bit of a bad idea, but... Do I have any more? No, that was the last one. Alright, well... What do I have? Oh, right. Well, we unlocked the secret. This one wasn't nearly as hard as the last one. The fucking enemy was creepy, though. I wonder what their dealio is. We'll have to see. Oh. We got a money storm! Ain't no storm like a money storm, because a money storm don't stop. Anyways, I got real deep there. Um, it's kind of a funny story to tell. I'm gonna do Elf on the Shelf again tonight. My wife had a sweet idea of um, popping a bunch of popcorn and covering the microwave in it and be like, oh, we tried to watch a movie last night, but uh, didn't work out too good. I thought that was really funny. Um, okay, let's roll. Mm, we're gonna roll again. We want the thing that brings all the things in the level towards us. Here we go. There we go. Take the bracers. Fuck it, take the ring too. And take the left. Fuck it. You know what we say, we say fuck it. Look at that, killed him already. Silver ring. Silver ring. It's Christmas time. With these dragons. I think you think of Christmas because they're red and green. Around the green Christmas colors. Isn't it weird that they haven't come out with like any good Christmas music since like before segregation ended? That's real weird. Like, why hasn't there been any good Christmas music? Like, all of the classics are bangers. But like, all I want for Christmas is, is you makes me want to kill myself. And like, don't get me started on Santa, baby. God, that song. That song is the female equivalent 
of men who say that their waifus aren't 14 year old girls, they're actually 1200 years old. Oh, it makes me feel gross just listening to it. I was like, I forgot I picked up other. And like fucking the John or the Paul McCartney Christmas song. Holy shit, that song sucks. God damn. I just don't understand. I don't understand why all the good Christmas music stopped in the 40s. But whenever Bing Crosby ended. I'm like, where's the Aretha Franklin Christmas music? That's what I want to hear. Aretha Franklin is a god. Where's her Christmas album? Why hasn't she produced one from the grave? God damn it. I guess I guess my rant here is I just I just want to write the Franklin Christmas album. I'm gonna stop the stream and then Google it and then there's good turn on like twelve and I just haven't listened to them and I'm just being ignorant. <laughs> Oh shit, the giant crab is here. Everybody watch out. He has an erection. There we go. That was the fastest I've ever killed that motherfucker. Yep, I destroyed this level. I really stood no chance at all. Ooh, hard to burn. But I'm cool with it. Yoshi's notwithstanding. No, I'm cool with it. And there's Yoshi's. I'm cool with Yoshi's. All right. <laughs> to take the things that make the game harder or to not take the things that make the game harder? That is the question. Let him who hath understanding reckon the number of the beast. For it is a human number. Its number is... 493 <laughs> Just a random fucking number. Its number is nine <laughs> Just nine What number is it the Chinese people think or the fucking the real evil number It's like six or something I think six is just like the evilest number in the entire world Although, to be fair, fucking America doesn't even put the number 13 on their floors of buildings that are higher than 13 floors. Which just absolutely drives me up the wall. Like, what is wrong with you? You're so afraid of a fucking number that you think it's gonna defy all civil engineering? <laughs> like, are you fucking dumb? Or just stupid? Because I got to know. I just got it now. I wonder what secrets we're going to do next. I don't remember. I don't remember the list off the top of my head. So stay tuned if you're in the live chat. Because we're going to unlock the secret next. And it's a mystery to you and me. Except... If you know the game better than I do, then it's not a mystery to you. And knowing the game better than I do is... It's a very low bar. I promise. Even though I've played a shitload of it, and I've gotten literally every achievement. I still feel like my game knowledge is next to zero. Because I just can't remember anything any, any time, really. Oh, wow. I still haven't fully up. That's not. That's it. That's going to be the last one. Kill this guy. Kill this guy just for fun. 
for a celebration, I'll shoot my gun. You know, just for fun, please, I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna discard it. I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna discard it just so I can power oh, kill one of them. I forgot about that. Let's see how quickly I kill him. Yeah, it was fast. How do you have point one of a revive? That should have got me fucked up, man. How do you have point one of a revive? That's so fucking dumb. You got me wild up, you lame ass bitch you don't talk about with us. Controversial opinion, Brockhampton stopped being good after they kicked out a mere van. Another common hot take from Bert that's absolutely correct in every single way. Another controversial opinion, any good country music isn't actually country music, it's all southern folk. Johnny Cash isn't a country musician, he's a southern folk artist. He tells folk tales. He doesn't sing about living in a fucking farm. He tells folk tales. Just like folk music. Another correct opinion from Bert. You're welcome. Oh, that reminds me of another funny story. No, I'll tell them in the last 10 seconds. So an IT guy came to work today, and we have like an inner office, um, like music player that I unplugged because it only plays country music and it can't fuck sand country music. We got the dub, and we unlocked the secret. And we can turn off this royalty free music now. Cool. Anyways, uh, so I unplugged it, and then he was like, have you guys been having trouble with your in-store music? And I'm like, oh yeah, I unplugged it, because it only plays, and he was like, why? And he was like, because it only plays country music, and I don't like country music. So he plugged it back in, and then he left for Yorkton, and then I immediately unplugged it. Anyways, thanks for joining. Uh, what did we unlock? Let's find out together. We unlocked... Later. No information. <laughs> That's baller. All right, we're playing as, as them next. Unless we have to play as someone else for the secret. What, what's the secret? Find out together. With a pure heart and two good friends, visit the fiery balcony in Capella Magna. Okay, so the two birds. I don't know what pure heart means. Um, probably the red heart or the black heart, I'm guessing. I have no idea. Anyways, fiery balcony. We'll, we'll find out together. Next time... I'm Vampire Survivors. Don't forget to subscribe, like, do all the fucking things, you bitch. I didn't mean to call you a bitch, I'm sorry. Love you, peace!